And this is the first episode of you know my first Minecraft series and called Renaissance Adventure. Uh, Guys, I'm not gonna lie whatsoever, 2013 was arguably like the worst year of my life. Uh, I, I wasn't supposed to make a video like this, I mean I mean the quality may not be great and such, but I'm just using my iPhone camera but <laughs> one thousand subscribers <laughs> People are really important, like uh, my family and friends and all that kind of shit. Just they they really mean a lot to me, like honestly. Um, I'm gonna not only impact YouTube but probably the world, maybe if I can. But it's gonna be a long shot, and I gotta work hard for this. Um, my dreams, okay? They're just they're just too big. I mean, I don't know if I can achieve them, but I never doubt myself because you know I'm on the side. I don't know where I ever belonged. I've always been this outcast, no matter where I go. Guys, I'm not gonna lie whatsoever, 2013 was arguably like the worst year of my life. Like, legit, I just, I just wish I'd never went through that year, like honestly. And that's because I first had suicidal urges ever since the age of 13. Where do I need to go to be at home? Where do I need to go to just be accepted? Where do I need to go to be me, be myself? I've been trying to send you texts, but you've kind of been ignoring me, man. Where the hell have you been? Anyways, I watched your London Hourglass video. I've always appreciated the gift of time. And also having to feel like Ellis by my side. Because trust me, having to feel like Ellis is a miracle or something. And I've got to say, I was surprised at the lack of credit you actually give to yourself. Because for someone like you, at least you're doing something to not only improve yourself, but improve the community. Just keep in mind one thing, because I really hope you're not planning to do something that... I don't even want to imagine. Where your head is at right now, doesn't mean you'll be in that state of mind forever. I used to be happy when I was younger. But the older I got, the more this depression, the more this hatred for myself got stronger and stronger. But with me being so lonely, made me realise some of my biggest lessons learned during my adolescence. I've learned that it's okay to be me. It's okay to be who I want to be and not pretend to be someone I'm not, just for people to love me. Because if I'm 100% myself, people will come to me. They'll love me for me and not for anything else. I had to learn that if I truly wanted something, I had to put the work in to get it. If you aren't happy with where you are in life, then you can change that because your life is what you make of it. I'm sorry for everything. 
You see, I've been trying to work hard over the years. I've even reached certain accolades. I wasn't gonna make a video, okay? I was, I was, I wasn't supposed to make a video like this. I mean, I mean, the quality may not be great and such, but I'm just using my iPhone camera. But <laughs> one thousand subscribers, <laughs> guys, guys, I'm gonna upload two more videos later on today. It's like three twenty-five a.m. I mean, I was supposed to be, be quiet. So. But even after all that hard work I put in, you still wasn't proud of me. I stayed away from all the peer pressure. I stayed clean and religious. But he still wasn't proud of me. I remember when I was 18, I planned my suicide. I planned my suicide for my 19th birthday. But even after fighting and surviving my temptations, he still wasn't proud of me. I remember two years ago, I said, But uh, I'm thankful to have people that care about me, which is what's important because, I don't know, I think pe people, <clears throat> people are really important, like uh, my family and friends and all that kind of shit, just, they, they really mean a lot to me, like, honestly. But none of that was true in the end. Sorry for not working hard enough. Sorry for just letting you down. I'm sorry for not being worth it. The biggest lesson that I've learned is that we're vulnerable to people's judgment. People we want love from most seem not to have cared about us in the first place. And so from me to you, you need to be careful in trusting certain people. What you need to watch out for is what you involve in your life. Your character can be blessed or tainted by certain things and certain people. But as soon as I saw all the pieces coming together, I realised what's been holding me back. My biggest lesson. Family forever. Things I don't know in my life. But if there's one thing I know for certain is that this life ain't worth it. They never give a fuck about you. They will judge you since birth. And they'll continue to do so until the day you prove them wrong. But why bother proving them wrong when it's so much more easier to just prove them right? Because you tried your best and you learned. <laughs> you tried your best and even if you gave everything to them, if you tried your best, you worked so hard for them and they never loved you in the first place. The people you would have died for, you let their judgement get to you. But the truth is that you've been manipulated to the point that you think you don't deserve any credit. 
no one is here to save you. You have to save yourself. It's better to just send them dead because at the end of the day, no one ever cared about you in the first place. No one ever loved you. So it's better to just make the right choice and just end it. But the choice is yours at the end of the day. But if you keep pushing forward, if you just stay alive, never know what blessings might come. But the choice is yours. You need to know from my experience is that there are two sides that are fighting for the soul. There's good and then there's evil. As difficult as this is to accept, one can't live without the other. But as a Christian, there's this one quote that reminded me of you because of the struggles you've went through over the years. You will wipe every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death, no more sorrow, or crying, or pain. All these things are gone forever. Revelations 21.4 Knowing you for years, I hope you realize your self-worth, your gift, and how blessed you are to be alive. Just remember, why these suicidal thoughts make you question if life was meant for the people who suffer, people who question their reality. I want to not only impact YouTube, but probably the world, maybe, if I can, but it's going to be a long shot, and i got to work hard for this, i really got to work hard for this, and I'm really showing a lot of commitment towards YouTube recently, and, you know, I just want to say thank you for spending time for watching this video, and spending at least five minutes of your time watching me. So it came to the end of my solitude and despite how mentally rough these past six years have been, um, going through the stage of where I was hopeless, what the reason was for my guilt and why I seemed to be attracted to death for so many years by having those suicidal thoughts at an early age, I finally found the answers that I've been searching for throughout the past six years. I finally well, I didn't find myself. I finally returned to myself. There are a lot of people out there, especially adolescents, who mentally struggle and suffer so much to the point that they may not realize that death, suicide, will cause the story to end. My name is Ranside, uh, birth name is Azamia. I was born December 21st, 1999, and I'm a 19-year-old British Bangladeshi who uses art as a catharsis to help people. I'm honestly content with both names. Um, Azam, my birth name, reminds me of the trauma, as depressing as it sounds, over the years from my adolescence, but it reminds me that I overcame it. But Ranside is a name that it was it allowed me to finally be myself. 
because the world never really accepted me in the first place. And despite getting bullied a lot in school for being around inside, being myself, those people that bullied me finally started to believe in me because of the work that I was providing, because of what I was stand for and what I was expressing. Because the ability to be yourself and the ability to actually fight for your identity is, in this day and age, it's more important than ever. And I feel like I need to express that. It's not possible, okay? I mean, it's never going to happen, but it doesn't hurt a dream. I mean, I'm just working towards it. I mean, it'd be great if this was a regular thing, like, you know, you can. Uh, just, it'll, it'll be insane. My dreams, okay? They're just. They're just too big. I mean, I don't know if I can achieve them, but. I never doubt myself because, you know, I'm on the side. I believe that you can achieve anything you set your mind to. If you want something so bad, then you'll do anything to try to achieve it, to try to get it. In terms of who believes in me, I don't really believe that anyone believes in me because in terms of family, the only family that I have is my mother. And even then, she doesn't, we don't really talk at all. But um, in terms of friendship, I don't really know who's my friend, you know, because I've been lied to throughout the years. I've been caring about people that I would die for who never cared about me in the first place he just kept lying to me and it makes you question a lot of things you know the people that emotionally manipulate to the point that you think you're a bad person and I had to learn to be my own brother my own mentor my own fatherly figure because I never had a proper fatherly figure I never had my own brother because those people never cared about me and even though I didn't come from a healthy family, I know for a fact that a healthy family will come out of me because of the energy that I provide to the world. I know for a fact that this is what I have to do. This is my purpose because it's only right to give back to the world and just try to change it for the greater good because I don't know how long I'll be alive, but that's the thing. So I'm just trying to help people. I want to be known as a leader, an artist, and just a person who help people, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, you know, help people is the only way to be fulfilled. But in terms of changing the world and trying to make a big difference, I mean, I'm only an adolescent, but at the end of the day, I don't see many adolescents trying to talk about things. You know, there's a load of adolescents trying to cover up their true self because of judgment and because they don't feel like they'll be accepted but I realised my purpose I realised my destiny at the end of the day because growing up as a loser growing up with no one by your side growing up losing everything you realise that when you're in solitude by yourself you eventually find solace and that isn't through the countries I go to that isn't through the people I've met as a matter of fact, it was actually within me this whole time. But in terms of how I'm going to change the world and how I'm going to become the man that I plan to be, it all comes down to one thing. state of mind forever. What you need to watch out for is what you involve in your life. Your character can be blessed or tainted by certain things and certain people. Why do these suicidal thoughts make you question if life was meant for the people who suffer? People who question their reality. They mentally struggle and suffer so much to the point that they may not realize that death, suicide, will cause a story to end. How they handle their pain, how they shape their own perspective, can either heal or destroy, fulfill or unfulfill, 
live or die, but perspective can turn your pain into lessons, your scars into blessings, and above all else, how your life is precious, how your life isn't worth ending, and how you are worth remembering.